the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Amen. Love God you. bless you. You know what? This is this is a I really enjoy what we talked about this morning, this Sunday session. And that's I'm gonna break it down to a sections A, B, C, D, you know, whatever it takes to, to finish it out. But I do want to make sure you remember is to subscribe. If you like the video, uh, subscribe to it. Because that's what we need to continue to show that we're doing and we're on the right track. Uh, but if you don't, I'm still going to preach the gospel. <laughs> Hallelujah. But the topic we're talking about today, the subject or the topic we're talking about today is right here. Uh, let me show it to you. I love this one because I'm trying to bring out a point. The point is right here. Uh, the descriptor or the title is down in the far head right corner. And I, I, I moved the other one as far as teaching the gospel is sure way it was written. I put that to the left now so that you can stay focused on what is your responsibility and what is the subject for the day. And this one is talking about is God. And when he said, I did not, and I guess we could change, we could change the title and say, God did not, so nobody will get uh, confused. Uh, but God said, I, I did not call you to be hateful, superior, or seek fame, glory. I didn't call you that. That's the, I don't know where you got that from. I don't know why you think that's important. Because all that said, the, 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 if you're trying to be superior, I didn't call you to be prideful. I didn't call you to be superior. I didn't call you to seek vain glory. I called you to go preach the gospel. I called you to help others receive eternal life. I gave you eternal life if you are in Christ. You have eternal life. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes him should not perish but have everlasting life. He came, he gave his son for you to have eternal life. And now some of you sit there and say, well, I don't, you, you're gonna, once you die, that's it. Then you wanna have faith in that's up to you. But also those, those of us that are believers and many others, know that we believe by faith that there's another that's eternal life. And we want to be in eternal life connected to God. That's what eternal life means. Opposed to eternal death. Disconnected from God. So this topic, and then while we're showing this, uh, this, this week is to get you to internalize what, what you need to do as a believer. You, you call to preach the good news. You call to bring people out of the dark into God's marvelous light. You call to obey the, the, the guidance that God gave or Christ gave. But then you can either go by the law, but the laws are good too. You can go by the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments is, is talking about, and you wrap it up in two great commandments to love the Lord thy God with all the heart, all our mind, all that strength, and to love thy neighbors as self. And then Christ said, I gave you a new commandment in John 13, 34. A new commandment I give you, that you love one another as I love you, that you also love one another. And 35 said, and men will know that you're my disciples for the love that you have for one another. Let's love one another. And we that are believers are both to encourage people to repent. Because Christ said, I didn't come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. So let's do that, amen. God bless you. I hope you enjoyed the video. And like I said, don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to make comments. It helps me to understand where I'm at and what I need to do to fix things. Because I'm not perfect. I'm not even trying to be. I know who he is. That's Christ. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. I'll check you later. Bye-bye. In other words, you forget to teach them. You're not making them disciples. What's that one time Christ talking about? Uh, it was Paul. It was Jesus said it. You, you go and, and, and search the world and you make a proselyte or, or, or yeah. a disciple. And what he said? Uh, you make them worse than him. Yeah. You make them ten times I can't remember how he exactly said it, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah. He said you make them worse 
then, then, then even, I don't know, he almost said like worse than yourself, but the bottom line is, you won't make them for better. You won't make them disciples. You're making them proselytes to, to preach evil and hate. And, and so it's almost like the fact is that the system, if we, they'll bring you to the system. If you start making success, they will pull you further and further into their group. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and, and as long as you stay online and what they're talking about, then we're going to teach you how to stay important. But that, that interesting when he sat there, and we'll go back to the story again, and I have to say, I can squeeze that in this thing, is why are you talking to those sinners? <laughs> you, you don't want to be talking to, you see what I'm saying? It, it, it was it's implying a division. Yeah. Uh, and and, 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 and the, the, right now we're talking about the, the Jewish people, the, the, that was supposed, that's, that's a congregation. Really, right? It's, it's, it's not only a, 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 a nation; it's 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 a, the children of God. So, so when you talk about the children of God, just like you talk about a congregation, then you talk about the body, right? Then you talk about a community, then you talk about the state. You're sitting there saying, "Is you don't want to be talking with certain people in this in this country, or, or you know what I mean? You don't talk to sinners. That's that's what." I remember, did you ever heard that one statement say, I don't smoke, don't chew, don't hate me? People that do? Yeah. Yeah. Do you understand what that, 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 that little rabbit trail is telling us? That we, like you said, when did that come in? Well, that sounds no different between being superior yeah. and the other group not superior. Yeah. Well, yeah. matter of fact, the other group is inferior. Well, it had gotten so bad to where you had uh, churches putting down other churches. You said, "Come on now, come on." You know, not and, and the same same denomination, but you know, church they against us. Yeah. And then you got denomination against denomination. Wow. Wow. And and, and so all these divisions, you know. That's like, what what kind of body mm. exists like that? And Paul talked about that for too, didn't he? Yeah. What, it is what, a, what, what kind of body schism. does that represent? If 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 your shoe is the head, what does his body look like? Is it is it like the is it the form? Ooh, what is it? Because it's schism, right? Schism. There's no, there will be no schism in the body. No. So, so schism is to a degree of deformity. Yeah. Um, and uh, not functional. Yeah. You know? And I love Paul gave that description saying, can the eyes tell it better than the ears and the ears and the and, bowels? And and the then they go another step forward. What does the bride look like? Ooh. Ooh. What, what, what is, is, are we presentable? You know, or are we washed? What? Are we clothed? You know, or, right. I mean, what what is this bride that he's coming back for look like? Mm. Oh, 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 what does somebody say? Would I find faith in the earth when I come back? My, ooh, my fact, man, you would make me think about, wow, we, that job has been very successful, hasn't it? Uh, and if, if we don't get back, what's that? What, 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 the other scripture that came to my mind was when Isaiah said, Lord, who will believe? Who has believed our report? Yeah. <laughs> when, when, when people come back and look at the stuff, they can sit there and say, That's not, is this the gospel? Yeah. <laughs> is this? This is like Christ gonna come back to Where is my bride? <laughs> In, 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 in the, the mentality is that in, in that, that scene people were talking about now I'll I say I'm going to edit the statement a little bit where you, you actually see the, the, the scriptures because in the end he said I did not come to call the righteous yeah. you don't need you know 
you're 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 well. I came to those who need a physician. Exactly. Well, in other words, we forget he's telling us what the mission is, isn't he? Yeah. He's telling us. He man, realize I don't think that's a driver trail is worth exploring again. Because it really fits into you know, some of the things we talk about all through our studies and stuff. Yeah. Is the fact that what did he come to call? What did you call him to do? The commission was to go preach the gospel. That was the commission. How? How by pointing at somebody and saying they're ungodly, that you don't talk to them. Yeah. Matter of fact, that, what, that falls where's into the, racism. Where's it? the love in it? Yeah. Yeah. You know, if, 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 you know, it's walking in the flesh. Let's just put it that way. We, we are not. We are not in this to walk in the flesh because you fulfill the lust of the flesh. Um, so if you're walking in the spirit, then you see a soul in the spirit mm -hmm. that's in distress. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And 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 if 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 you're walking in the spirit and you, and, and and that means that you're loving God with all your heart, mind, soul, uh -huh. strength. And you're loving your neighbor as yourself. Mm -hmm. So how could you love someone mm. as yourself mm -hmm. and your heart not go out for their soul? Mm. Because if if you're in this because you're saving your soul and you live in this life with God, you're someone that's likened to you. Mm. Because this is yourself. You're looking at yourself. Yes, sir. But you remember when Bishop said, and such were some of you. Wow. wow. So it, it is it is imperative mm. to be in that position to where you see yourself lost. That's where the ability comes from. Yeah. What? Where? What? What would you do? Yeah. If you're able to save your own soul, so that's the 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 mindset. I guess we we need to go in this as, as yourself. As see yourself. yourself before you. Yeah. And if you wouldn't want yourself to be in that position. Mm hmm then try to help this person see the position that they're in. Yes, sir. That's, that's, that you see. Exactly. You know, because you're, you're, you're in the spirit, they're in the, in the flesh. Mm -hmm. You're trying to impart a spiritual awareness Come on. to this person so that yeah. they can see what you see. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And exactly. You see a, a, a soul in distress Wow. That's burdened and, and yoked to an enemy that is trying to kill and maintain the soul that he has control over. And yes. so in looking at that and in understanding where you were, my oh. God, to understand what God has done for me. Hmm. When I see somebody who was in the position that I was in, yes, sir, and the love that was shared to to lift me up from where I was, right, right, the love that was given by someone to expose me mm. to a living God, come on, to a loving Savior, and to freedom from this world and this world system, though I had to be born again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And and and, and come into a knowledge of where I am now. Mm. The process did start. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? And all that I went through got me to where I am, to where this world, man, is so obvious to me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? The yeah. things that are going on are so obvious that 
Excuse me. I see the deception. Yes, sir. I see everywhere, every angle the enemy has. In his tentacles, in, his, in the scriptures talk about it. It did. And you, but like I said, you're right. And you, you, I like that question you asked earlier really was that, how do we veer off that? What, 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 it's almost like what the Sadducees, the Pharisees became. Yeah. The, the modern day church, if it's not watching out, has become, and as a matter of fact, that's what it used to manipulate the, 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 uh, the slave trade, the, yeah. the, the, the racism and everything else. Because let, let's, my friend, let me show, let us show them the scripture that you're yeah. talking about, we're talking about. Yeah, uh, um, one second. Full this, this, is, this is interesting. Full circle, we don't pay full circle to being what the, doggone uh, Pharisees were. This is, it's, it starts at, I'll give it to you to let you know what it, you know it says, Jesus called Levi, uh, it's five, it's Luke, Luke 5, 5 27, 27 to 32. Yeah. Okay, and after these things, he went forth and saw a publican named Levi mm -hmm. sitting at the seat of custom. And he said unto him, follow me. And he left all, rose up, and followed him. And Levi made him a great feast in his own house. Mm. And there was a great company of publicans and of others that sat down with him. Mm. But their scribes and Pharisees murmured against his disciples, saying, Why do you eat and drink with publicans and sinners? Mm. And Jesus, Yeshua, answered, said unto them, they that are whole need not a physician, but they that are sick, I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Interesting. And you know, the fact is, and I look at this whole thing that, that we was talking about it, is that Christ, and we, he's the way, right? That's what it said, Jesus, yeah. John 14, 6, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one come to follow but by me. Well, I, that means I should follow his example. And he's sitting there saying, I didn't come to call the righteous. As a matter of fact, you, the ministry, you, the, you, the body of Christ, you're not called to go after other righteous people. You're not called to go after other people that are saved. You're not called to, 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 you, you're called to continue the work, to you bring know, other people. Go ahead. Um, what, what? What boggles my mind, and what I, I need to, to to do some study on this, is that he called the scribes and Pharisees a whole. He used that as a reference to they think they hold. Right? Well, I'm thinking that they have access to the scriptures. Yeah, yeah, they do. They have they, access. To who he was and who he is. They church leaders. And so since they had access to that, to the school, mm -hmm. to the word yeah. of, of God, they were whole because they had the access. Well, now, but, those yeah. who are sick, they didn't have access. They, they to, didn't have access. They didn't the scriptures. They, 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 the scriptures they weren't talk. given access. Mm -hmm. They didn't have access. They weren't given access. Yeah. They were only given what the scribe and Pharisees decide to give to them. Right. And it's no this. different than it's, it's like it unto a, 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 a slave master. Mm -hmm. They give them yeah. what they want to give, you know, the scraps. In the this case, and look, in this case, I get why that they ain't going to give them nothing. Yeah. Did, uh, you know what I'm saying? Is, yeah, because they, they, they're like, why are you even talking to them? Exactly. Ooh, man, think about it. That's really could be part of a subject by itself is, is the fact is the, he did not call you to separate from people that you call sinners. Yeah. He called you to go get them to repent. Yeah. That, that one scripture came about snatching people from the fire. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that is the mission. So well, I mean, would, be would, a Christian would, if you're not calling sinners to repent. to repentance. You know, so you're 
are you Christ like? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Right, right. You, you, the, 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 when we're tapping into it, it's, it, it, it's reflected throughout most of the scriptures to include the Samaritan, right? The, 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 who's your neighbor? Right? The, the two great commandments. He said, somebody did a what? I guess the action of the, of the Ten Commandments, right? To, to wrap it up in two things to love the Lord thy God with all our heart, with all our soul, all our mind, all our strength, and then to love your neighbor yeah. as yourself. Here, there's a compassion that Christ was saying, I didn't come to call them right. So, what are we calling them for? They already, you, you see what I'm saying? Like you said, they already are whole. I didn't come to call, I didn't, I'm not called to look for the, the person that's whole. But yet, you're saying, if you remember the question you're saying is, where did it veer off? That the focus is just on my congregation. Where did it veer off? I need to bring you to my church instead of find out that you are, remember this, carols, right? You are the church. You are the church. But well, somebody sitting there going, huh? But the, 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 the They, you can't be the perfecter and the unperfected. Mm, that's <laughs> you the know? truth. Right. So, so if, if, if you're not perfecting the saints to do the ministry, what are you doing? You're perfecting them to, to do what? You preach it to, oh, here's a term you preach it to the choir. Are they? Well, I mean, I mean obviously, they're the, well, they, they, they the building. If, if, but not being hateful. You're not called to be hateful. You're called to be the good news. You're not called to be superior. You're called to be children of God. And if that in itself is superior, then you call calling others to be as well. It's not something that's only isolated for a selected few who can own. Because matter of fact, you think about it, if we deal with black superiority or white superiority or brown superiority or, or Jew superiority or any of those superiorities, those things are all perishing. And then you have to go and meet God. And you're all accountable to God. So let's do the right thing. Let's learn to love one another. You're not called to be hateful. You're not called to be superior. You're not called to seek vain glory. You're called to preach the gospel. And you, and most of you who claim to be Christians are really making it a challenge for those who want to preach the gospel because the history of those who proclaim they're Christians, but we're not, because the tree is known by its fruit. You are trying to tell people that we're evil, we're hateful, we're, we're judgmental, and we want to keep you out. We're supposed to bring you in. We're supposed to bring in the world, saints, if you are in Christ. But for you that's not in Christ, God is saying, I want you. And it doesn't matter how low you go, I want you to repent and come toward him. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.